What I will say about civil disobedience um, is that it's the action of choice for people who have instant gratification needs. You know, I'm really not the type that can do that, the lobbying and the election stuff. I mean, it's like you work in anonymity for months and you may or may not win. But if you climb the White House fence, you're going to get arrested. Yes. <laughs> right. you know, Quickly. Instantly. Right. Right? <laughs> instantly. So it's it's the something of choice for people with instant gratification needs. Hello there, oh. cat. <laughs> hold on to climb. Uh, no, it's okay. I I'll like, still get she will climb into the bag. <laughs> In 76, we walked to Richmond 100 miles in five days with uh, ERA petitions to Jim Thompson, who had been the delegate at Alexandria and who was the man who was holding up the ERA at that, that point. And this is my hiking boots and one of my socks. <laughs> the other hiking boot and sock is also in the Smithsonian. Um, and I was I had my boots blessed by Alison Cheek. Alison Cheek was one of the first women legally ordained, not legal, because it wasn't legal, but publicly ordained in the Episcopal Church. Uh, and there again, it's really, you know, we're having this big thing. Women didn't get any press in those days. But it just so happens that one week before we started on this march, Alison Cheek appears on the cover of Time as Woman of the Year. So we got really good press, and uh, I got her to bless my boots, and I should have had her bless my feet, because... <laughs> <laughs> These are sturdy. These yeah. Are like, uh, <laughs> and, oh, and my knees. I should have had yeah, her bless my knees, very, too. Yeah. Because as you can see, the boot held up fine, but <laughs> this knee is still bad. How long 